Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video. Uh, today I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you my um, DVD collection. So some of these I've had for a very, very long time. Uh, however, with, um, we've got very exciting uh, 30th anniversary coming up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Once and Forever coming out. And I thought it was time that I sort of got the other series off my collection. But So by that, for a very long time, all this bottom row I've had. Um, the the later series have probably been very difficult. So Megaforce, Dino Fury is quite cool. I like that. Um, Ninja Steel and Super Ninja Steel, obviously, and Super Dino, whatever you want to call them, and Super Megaforce. Uh, they've all been thrown in there. And um, obviously Beast Morphers and Dino Fury, um, which is now on by Hasbro and Hasbro series. They have yet to be released in this sort of format. So um, you can either get them digitally or watch them on Netflix. No, you can't watch Beast Morphers on Netflix. But you can watch on YouTube, though. So there is actual episodes on YouTube. So um, if you want to do that, so... Which is pretty cool. Gotta give that. That's pretty cool that they've got that stuff going on. So um, I'll just have a, a look at each individual set. And then, um, then we'll be done. <laughs> So in the UK, I don't think we've uh, necessarily been blessed with um, Power Rangers being released on C on DVDs, etc. I think we've been very neglected. So a majority of my collection is um, actually um, from uh, Shout Factory. I think it's Shout Factory that um, had the opportunity to release them. And that's when I bought them back in 2011, 2012. I feel like that was the year that I got them. Before that, I had uh, Series 1 to 6 which was, um, I think they were released in Germany, but they had, um, they were English. Uh, the only thing that wasn't English was the, the actual title of the episode, which was really weird. So, however, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers got released uh, in the UK a couple of years back. So I decided to actually buy the UK version. And then I ended up selling the Shout Factory, which in some ways I, I get irritated by myself. I'll probably at some point buy it again. Um, however, you know, whether I do or not, it's another thing. So there is 145, uh, episodes on here. So 60 episodes for season one. And then, you know, they are pretty much the same discs that were released for South Factory. Um, exactly the same looking discs. However, just the, the titles a little bit different on the actual... When you actually put them on on your blu-ray etc so in the uk you can still get this very very easy probably about 30 quid etc so this is 52 episodes for season two there we go once again get about six discs in there very very nice very very easy and the complete third series once again there are only five discs and this also has the the, what they call the mini series of uh, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. So this is one of the the South Factory uh, packs. So you get a uh, Zeo Turbo in Space Lots Galaxy, and the artwork for these were absolutely fabulous. I always liked them, and you can have it on the side like that if you want. You have that on the back. So you got uh, twenty one uh, DVDs. And there's about 183 episodes between them. You get this beautiful sort of booklet with it, which has details, etc., which I thought were always uh, a beautiful addition. You get a bonus disc. I think they, they, they got better as it went off. You also get the last episode with this one, which um, I, I, I can only guess that that is the unaired pilot. So, yes, yeah, so, so four of my favorite series. Um, I have to debate with myself whether Zeo is or whether In Space is my actual favorite. Uh, it does actually, no, it doesn't. I thought it said how many episodes were on it, but it was about 50, if I remember rightly. Inside, you've got the episode list there, which I always find is very, very nice, very decent. And then we've got In Turbo, not everybody's favorite season, but it exists. And we watch it because we like that episode with a the pizza. There's about there's 45 uh, episodes with that, and I think I think that this was almost the end of Power Rangers, and then In Space came in and saved the day 
like I said, I have to debate with this, whether this is my favorite or whether Zio is. Once again, there's 43 episodes, so it wasn't a massive series, but it was um, it was sort of continuous in terms of it had a, a plot all the way through. Last Galaxy. That's pretty cool. Once again, it's sort of got a similar artwork on it. Uh, 45 episodes. This guy actually has a top season as well. So let's move on to the next box. Uh, sorry, also in between, I meant to do um, this little piece. So we got the movie. So we got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. Uh, so I, I went for this because this is a classic uh, poster from it. So I really, really wanted that. Um, nothing special, etc. This is very basic, but it was the one that I wanted. Um, I guess my only gripe is, and this was also with the Shout Factory, is I feel like I wish that there had been space to put this. They did it in that big special helmet that they did, but I wish they had done that. So, but hey, it is here. And the same with Turbo. I wish in the Shout Factory one, there was room to drop the disc in there because I would have easily dropped it in there. It's getting very basic, nothing special there, and then obviously I've just got the Blu-ray. That's simple, it's decent enough, and then unfortunately, um, well, I didn't get further than the one film, which is disappointing because there was potential there. So then we move on to seasons 8 to 12, and then it's pretty much like a whole red, in fact, that I think that's almost the theme of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We had Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder on the side there. We have all the seasons there, which is pretty awesome. Then we got sort of like a synthesis there. And they, said they were celebrating the 20th anniversary back then. So it's the 30th anniversary. What are you going to give us this year? Maybe it's 2013. Maybe I got my years wrong. It must have been 2013 that these all came out. So 96, 196 awesome episodes in here, etc. We get, once again, a lovely booklet. And I think Shout Factory knocked it out of the park with these box sets, how they looked. And I was always very eager that they were going to follow up with um, some of these later seasons. Um, I'm not sure if they've ever got, whether it was just a once-off contract, uh, sorry, contract, etc. So you get disc with bonus features if you're interested in that. Um, other than that... Let's get into this. In fact, I got it the wrong way around. So, Lightspeed Rescue, once again, the same theme. 40 episodes. It's got the episodes written in there, which I always did like. And that's the annoying thing with Turbo. There was room for it to be dropped in there. Very, very easy. Um, I almost feel tempted just going to buy one with um, an extra slot so I can drop them in there. I may I may do that on that, on that person. Let's be honest. That will do that. Next up is Time Force. Um, I think Lightspeed was probably, I, I didn't finish the whole season, but Lightspeed was when I, I really started dropping off and then I would just check in to see if Tommy returned because I was also that person. And um, obviously I get my wish at Dino Fury, but um, at this point I'd watch the first episode and then I'd say, yeah, that's it. So I think that is F. there's 40 episodes time force and some of these when i went and back and and watched these fully for the first time i i realized i had really missed a treat because some of these seasons are amazing absolutely amazing wild force 40 episodes so they've gone down i think 40 episodes was the norm at that point once again beautiful discs etc and um i'm not sure how how this has happened but these play on region two so i've either been um these are either copies somehow or South Factory made them so that they were region free. But in the UK, which is UK too, I can watch these on my um, my Xbox box, which makes me very happy. Ninja Storm, Ranger Form Ninja Storm. Once again, actually Ninja Storm is pretty good. So this was the beginning of the Disney area, era. Era? I got some damage there, that's a point. Uh, 38 episodes. And uh, Dino Fury. Uh, I think this is when they, yeah, that must have been Disney. So this is when they bring back Tommy and I watched that first episode and I wanted to watch it all, but we had, um, in the UK, we had ITV 
and it only showed a handful of episodes and well that was it and then I had a few DVD releases I did manage to obviously get with this SPD they um, had uh, DVDs released complete series so I did have them for a period of time until eventually I got these and I was very happy so Dino, Thunder and um, SPD were ones I had seen before let's move on to the next box and then this is the last um, set from South Factory, Seasons 13 to 17, SPD, Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, and then obviously it ended with RPM. So if you think about when these were released, you probably had um, Samurai and Mega Force when these came out. And they had two seasons each, but was it enough to justify a box set? Probably not. And then as time's gone by, they just... They just followed up with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I believe, and that's about it. Uh, this box, as uh, you can see, this is probably the most damaged out of all of them, which I'm obviously disappointed, but trying to get this now, absolutely ridiculous. But um, I really hope that it is the 30th anniversary that even Hasbro considered doing, doing something, you know, people will buy this, you know, that's this is 10 years ago. Uh, so this had 166 episodes. That's really tight in there. Apologies. Uh, once again, it has the beautiful book, which I do really like. And then once again, it's got the episodes and it's got little information, character bios and fun stuff like that. If you're into that and then the bonus feature disc. So, yeah, this one feels very um, weak and shy. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe I've just knocked it out a couple of times. So in the wrong order to begin with so we start with uh spd same sort of format 38 episodes or grun and we get that that amazing um episode what is that can't find it no wait a minute that's in operation overdrive what am i on about i got too excited there so spd has had releases in the past in the right order. got mystic force Mystic Force, actually. Um, once again, it's it's one that I sort of really enjoyed. Very easy, four discs. Very nice and simple. So they were starting to reduce even more. So it went down to 32 episodes. So perhaps budget cuts throughout the whole thing. Uh, this is probably one of those, one of the worst seasons considered out there. Uh, and then we got Jungle Fur, Jungle Fury. I really do love this. is one of my favorite series. So back when I first got uh, Sky, bear in mind I haven't watched any of these. Um, I got Sky what 2008, whenever it was. And the first thing I did was find some Power Rangers, and I found this, and I watched it, and I loved it. A bit bonkers, but um, yeah, probably probably one of the better seasons out there and then rpm rpm is gold now i know that this felt like um this was an end to power rangers which i didn't realize at the time probably internet probably wasn't and social media certainly wasn't the way it is now but um this was pretty much the end i kept waiting for a new series and it didn't happen but 32 episodes of awesomeness this was um quite a, a darkest series but it was so so cool and then all of a sudden we got um out of the blue. Let me just shove that out the way. Shove that out the way. We then got Samurai. So firstly, um, this is a UK disc set, and this is a US set. So they have released um Super Samurai over here. Um so I could easily go and buy the discs individually. Uh, but I did buy this first, and I did like this first. And I always thought that they were going to follow up on this, and they didn't. Um, Samurai's, um, I think people find this a bit hit and miss, whether they actually like it or not. And also, they sort of messed up. They throw in a Super Samurai episode on here, uh, which is a class of the Red Clash of the Red Rangers, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then on here, so you get, once again, free discs. Let's take up the dust cover. And then there we go three discs in there very very simple straightforward i could easily uh, i'll show you what i've done with some of my latest series because i'm not a fan of 
all these individual boxes. I could easily go in, buy something, and then shove that in with the, the other samurai. Okay, so big time letdown, Power Rangers Mega Force. So um, you can buy these individually in the UK. They've never released a, a box. And this is where I say that we're not as blessed because I feel in America, this has had a, a box set freed. So uh, you buy three sort of discs, three of them for like the first uh, season. So I actually got two discs in once or two in one. So that that's how they used to do it back then and then the same with the final of it so what i've done here because i am that person and i hate having that amount of discs and I, i'm trying to find somebody who can do me a dvd sleeve that looks absolutely awesome I, i've literally taken all the discs and i brought this box set i put them all in there so you got six discs all in there one wham bam bam thank you ma'am nice and easy that's how it should be for me well, that's how I see it anyway. So we move on to Dino Charge. So Dino Charge was a little bit better. Now, the other annoying thing is when I brought these probably about a month ago, some of them came back damaged, etc. I've got that with a couple of the Mega Force ones, which is a little bit disappointing because these discs don't hold any value. So people put them in little sleeves and then they just get broken. So I was probably a bit annoyed about this one more than anything because I thought actually I could get away with keeping season one on there but it's got it had one to five all in there which was cool and then volume one and two which had two discs in each one which once again was a little bit better and then once again what i did and i probably should be more prepared i didn't think that i was going to go straight into it the way that i had i have um put them all in here so there's five discs for season one and then for the season two or supercharged whatever you want to call it so i've actually um i actually realized because i thought that it was just gonna be one disc and it had like 10 episodes of it i was probably a bit naive so i do actually have to buy another one because i put it in a, another case etc so that then brings me on to ninja steel so in the uk so um manga were employed to deliver this now they probably did power ranger fans i'm gonna say a little bit dirty because you buy five discs five discs for season one and it get you get like four episodes on each one that is damn well awful awful look at that but you do get the halloween special on there later on and i did um i did make it i haven't made a point of it but in dino charge when i looked at those discs they actually put the halloween episodes and the christmas episodes where they belong not at the end of the season the end of the season always sort of bothered me etc so guess what i did yes that's right i brought one of these and um that's where the dino supercharge is I and mean, the idea was i was going to put all this in there and actually this in there however i've um because i've got the dino charge in there i've actually run out of room so i'm gonna have to make a, a decision perhaps or maybe make a change i'm not sure what that is at the moment in fact i think i've just um given myself the idea and then finally i had so in the uk they haven't really super ninja still now i'm not sure if that is because um hasbro had the license for beast morphers and everything else that they then st didn't struck a deal with manga to release them i'm not sure they felt that there wasn't the the dvds went certain whatever it didn't happen but um i wear i brought this from the us i've checked it on my dvd it plays i'm happy what was that some oh man ah oh, i think i've ripped it and that has the 22 episodes on three very simple discs so um so in terms of the final part of the collection which is the most recent part of the collection i've had to do a little bit more hard work to just make it a little bit nicer in terms of putting them in cases so they don't take up too much room and then i think i've got to at some point i've got to decide what i do with these um these uh individual cases am i just gonna i probably just recycle them i guess um but I, I don't i don't want them that's the whole idea of me creating these it's like back in the day when we used to have lots of cds in the 90s you would have multiple packs of CDs um, 
yeah, I didn't drive a car back then. I'm not that old. Um, but people would have like loads of CDs in, in like a little thing. So it's kind of reminds me of that sort of momentum. So there we go. So there you have it. There is my Power Ranger DVD collection. Um, oh, and there is a one Blu-ray. So I, I generally hope you liked um, seeing them in this format. Um, let me know how you collect yours, etc. And um, if you like my channel, please support by subscribing. Really appreciate that. Make sure you look after stuff. Very important these days. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.